Well, I never really made a big deal about this because I don't consider myself a gear guy. I'm just more of a pilot decision kind of a guy. There are other people that have a whole lot more of a penchant for knowing and interpreting all the nuances of different wings and gear than I do. But one of the things that sold me on the new PAP 10 Ox to replace my old aging previous unit that I'd started on was the ease of assembly and disassembly. Both Lauren Michaels and Mr. Minyard down there in Louisiana have videos detailing how quick it is to take these things apart and put them into your vehicle for transport and travel. <clears throat> I had been seeing these quick release propeller mounts. They use a bolt-on plate and an adapter and then a torsioning device. And this is the, the version here. It's still a prototype. And I've been working on it with a friend of mine who did all of the, the tooling for it. Even built a few fixtures and jigs that would go with trying to sell the concept. We, he doesn't have the desire to manufacture them, but maybe the concept and the tool path planning and the fixtures might be for sale to the right buyer that's going to make them and provide them. It's pretty simple. All right, so if the prop is off, you got to have this on there, otherwise these pins are going to catch on things. The, the mount pins for the propeller are going to catch on things, and that's going to be cumbersome. But that's the basic concept. That stays on the motor. Those get loctited in place. Well, the installation of the prop is pretty easy. You just, just line up these pins. And the boss in the center keeps the prop completely centered. And then the, the hand tensioner component screws in there until you get down to where you need to mate these pins so that they come through the back plate and tighten it up. The pins come through the back plate like that. Put about 25 or 30 foot pounds on that. With the, These give you enough leverage to make that tighter than you can make it. Very quick handed operation or two-handed operation one thumb wheel to disconnect the entire prop and you say well that can't be safe there's a reason there's six bolts on there but the engineering behind this is pretty intense so there's <clears throat> a mylar plate in there it gives you compression feedback and then this is a pretty complicated affair it's a bolt that has a different thread pitch than the main bolt to keep everything together and the rotational momentum of the propeller continuously tightens this so that instead of it ever loosening, the tendency is for it to tighten. It's based on the concept that they use to mount wheels on Formula One cars and starting next year on NASCAR cars with one nut. Subject to test flight improving runs, we've got about six hours of flight time on these units so far.